If you're a middle school math teacher trying to figure out what are some easy activities that you can use on the very first day of school, this video is for you. If you're new around here, my name is Kathy Martin and I help 6th, 7th, 8th grade and Algebra 1 math teachers experience more aha moments in the classroom while saving a ton of time and money, lesson planning, and figuring out resources. So what are some easy first day of school activities that you can actually use in the classroom that is beneficial and fun and engaging? These three middle school math activities will be perfect for you. And if you want to know my three must do's on the very first day of school to make that you must incorporate, check out the next video um where i'm sharing with you my three exact items that you need for the very first day of school to ensure that it goes smoothly or else it could be a dumpster fire so let's dive into some of my three favorite activities or or actually resources that i use on the first day of school that makes it fun and beneficial so first things first i like to give all of my students a copy of what i call my skills list and what this is, this one is specifically made for seventh grade. So you can see here, this is seventh grade, common core math standards, ratios and proportions. This skills list is a printed version of all of the standards. So this one is uh, ratios and proportions. This one is number systems. And you can see here, it's checked off because these are um, standards that we have covered. And actually the thing that's missing here is the the general date that we've covered them. Sometimes I remember to tell my students to write the date in there, but sometimes I just totally forget. So the reason why I like to give my students a copy of this is that oftentimes students will feel like they've learned nothing, right? Like, oh, this class is so boring. We don't do anything. And then they pull out the, school, the skills list like at the end of the year and they see, or even like mid-year, and they see all the skills that they have, we've already covered, it's literal proof to them that they're learning and that things are happening, right? It might be a struggle, it might not be easy, but hey, we have taught this skill, right? We have reviewed this skill, and then we have assessed this skill. So, this is a really powerful tool for students to use and for you to use um, in the classroom. And I think every teacher should have this. It's also a great tool to give to the parents of your students so that they can literally look up these um, standards. And if they want to help their students at home, because I know sometimes I have parents who are like, is there anything that I could look up on the internet at home and help my kid practice? Like if you have really great parents who want to do that, I just give them the skills list and I'm say, hey, you know, we are we are on ratios and proportions right now. Any of those skills that you want to copy and paste into Google and come up, pull up with some like resources and go for it. The second item that I love to use on the very first day of school is getting to know you bingo. Now I have students. Um, I will pick one. This one is a who are you bingo. This is probably the one that I usually go with. Um, this one is movie TV bingo, and then this one is gaming bingo, okay? So I like to actually use the who are you bingo because this is just kind of general. Give one to every kid. They go around asking um, each other like, okay, who has a dog, right? Who has a dog? And then they, they write the name of the person who has a dog. Oh, like Mila has a dog. They write Mila on here. Okay, uh, I love to cook. Oh, great. What's your name? Gavin. Okay, I'm going to put Gavin on here. I love to cook, right? So it really gets them to walk around, get to know each other, get to know each other's names. They might not remember each other's names after the first day, but that is totally okay. Gets them up and moving, getting to know each other, and that's really, really powerful. The next activity that I like to do on the first day of school are what I call character cards. And when you um, receive this, you will get it printed out like this, and it is two on a page, okay? So it comes with several templates. There's this one. There's this one, like flowers and, and swirls. There's this one, a little more modern. There's this one that with, has stars on it. And then this one has a flame. So when you print it out, 
again, it comes two on a page. So I picked the border with the stars on it. And I'm going to draw a picture of myself. And this is my sweet pup, Fred. And I'm going to write uh, an ability that I have. So I teach math and I'm a math person. And then a special skill. I always do my best. Notice how I've colored it. And I don't have my name on it. Okay, so what I like to do is have my students to fill this out. And yes, everyone has an ability. Everyone has a special skill. It does not always have to be math related, right? Their special skill could be like, I am really good at football, whatever it is, right? Or I'm a really good cook, whatever they want to put as their special skill. Everyone has a special skill and you have to remind your students of that. Um, so anyway, I will have everyone do this. I will collect them all and then I will share each kid's portrait, essentially their character card. And then the whole class will get to guess on who this is, right? Um, and then I like to take all of these character cards and then put them up as decoration in my classroom because it's really, it's just fun. It's cute. Um, and everyone from the first day of school already has like a place in the classroom on the wall somewhere. So those are my three favorite activities to complete on the very first day of school. And like I said, check out the next video where I'm going to be sharing with you three like must do's on the first day of school to ensure that it's not one giant dumpster fire. Okay. Let me know what you think of these activities. And if you want to grab them for free, you can totally grab them for free. I will put a link in the description box below so you can download them and use them on your very first day of school. These are wonderful because you don't need to use them on the first day of school. If you want to bust them out like the any time in the first week of school, that will be awesome too. Have a wonderful first day of school. Until next time, bye for now.